Hello everyone, welcome to today's reading. In today's reading we're going to be doing messages from your person, so whatever wants to show up from them, from their higher self, whatever wants to come up about their life, anything really, we're going to just dive in and see what comes up for you. So we're going to pick our cards together. Welcome everybody. So I would invite you now to think of your person, just bring them to your mind and let's see what comes up for you. Group number one, what is your card for today? So you have the net caster, group number one, preparations come to fruition, number 42. Amazing. This is group number one here. So let's see group number two now. What's coming up for you? Okay, we have number 44, the perfect storm, the courage to step into life showing up for you. Group number two, powerful. All of these are really feeling incredibly powerful. <clears throat> group number three now, please. Okay, okay, this one. So we have the dream thief interesting refusal of the call mm, interesting okay number 13 for this one okay right so these are the three groups for you today group number one the netcaster group number two the perfect storm amazing and group number three the dream thief you can pick more than one group if you feel drawn to more than one you can also listen to part of a one group one part of the other whatever you feel drawn to listen to your intuition as always the timestamps are in the description box below this video and also in the pinned comment below if any of you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, all the links and everything is available in the description box below as well. And also for 18 plus content and readings, check out Patreon. The links are below. All my love to you. Pause the video right now to take some more time and I'll see you all in your chosen groups. Hello, group number one. Welcome. You have picked the netcaster. So preparations come to fruition. So let's get into this energy. So I feel like your person's feelings towards you, like wanting to wanting to call you in or wanting to like have you in their lives. That's like the main energy showing up here. It feels like they want to catch you in their net, like literally with this card. That's what's showing up. Let's get a couple more cards, see what's going on. What are their messages for group number one's? group so what are their person's messages okay we have uh, stars in the sky limitless possibilities okay you also have the covenant sacred contract that's interesting you guys so it feels like you guys you have like a sacred contract with this person you have a contract to do something together for some of you you have already done this thing together and the contract is ending for others of you you are currently in the midst of this contract so let's see what else we have wailing tree reconciliations okay so your person wants to reconcile with you yeah um so with this card with the netcaster what I'm hearing is come back, return to me. They, they want you to come back for those of you who, you know, are not together with your person right now, or, you know, maybe there was some type of disagreement or whatever happened that caused separation. Your person wants you back. I feel like what, yeah, what I'm hearing is the gravity of their actions have like settled into them. Like now, they are fully realizing what they've lost or they're starting to fully understand, fully realize what they've done, what they've lost in this relationship for those of you who are not together right now. So we also have Spirit of the River on the bottom here, movement towards adventure. All right, so like that, there's this energy that has two groups here. For some of you, you are breaking up let's say energetically with this person with the covenant with the contract here ending so you're kind of like literally energetically breaking up with this person um this could also you know just be showing up in the physical world as well as a breakup or as just not spending that much time together for others of you you are like literally getting casted <laughs> into this contract 
Um, so yeah, you, you guys, you do have or have had a contract with this person in this lifetime, right? So you are supposed to teach each other lessons in this lifetime. That's the higher energy, the higher um, understanding of this connection. You are teaching each other stuff. There are limitless possibilities in how you can orient yourselves in this lifetime. Your person, for some of you, they still definitely see like limitless possibilities with you. Actually, I have to I have to correct myself for all of you. They see limitless possibilities with you, even if you feel like you've broken up with each other. Your person wants you back. They see limitless possibilities. They still are like, I can change. I can I can be different. You know, they're like, I can I can do something. I can be better than what you know. So that's that energy of reconciliation here. The wailing tree, actually, you know, I can be better. I can improve and it's part of your contract with this person. <clears throat> Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, for others of you, um, the contract with this person is like literally beginning. So you're starting, what I'm hearing is on an adventurous, <laughs> adventurous journey with this person, with this card here as well, Spirit of the River. You're starting on the flow of, of just, let's say, spiritual, energetic fun with this person. Um, there are going to be triggers, you guys. There are going to be things that, you know, come up for you. This is a reading that's being done after this um, full moon in Libra that we had in March 2024. For those of you watching in the timeless um, time, let's say. Um, but yeah, uh, this this eclipse shifted things profoundly for a lot of relationships and it's con going to continue to shift. I feel like just the year 2024 is shifting a lot of relationships. So there's some some contracts are ending, some contracts are starting up, you know, so, but overall there is adventure for all of you, right? So even if your contract with this person has ended, that means that there is a lesson that you got here, that there is like a lesson, you got your degree and you are ready to move forward. You know, you're ready to go on a much better adventure. So one more thing that wants to show up from the higher self as like guidance or as an understanding here is also that when something ends, there is a much better thing waiting outside in the world for you. Right, so if your relationship is ending with your person, you know, with these preparations come to fruition, some things were like really, really taking their time and they have come to a certain end for some of you. Um, and that's that fruit, you know, the fruit is done. It's, it's coming into a new cycle of um, death and rebirth, you know, composting and all that. So with you guys, um, you have a new, much better opportunity waiting for you somewhere in your life, right? So you are going to meet another person who is much better for you. Someone who resonates with this new energy that you're holding, with this lesson that you learned from this connection, whatever this connection is, you guys have learned your lesson. You know you are in a different energetic vibration right now and you're going to attract different people to you, people that are much better suited for you and in alignment with your newer, newest desires um, and in alignment with, with, you know, much better growth and um, your worth as well. So in alignment with your worth. So what Spirit overall wants to say, like to sum it up is that um, let, let's say you're playing with a rock, you know, and you love this rock. You, um, you're amazed by this rock. This rock is amazing. And then, you know, spirit's like, yeah, I'm going to take away this rock. And you're like, oh no, what am I going to do? This is the relationship that I've been hoping for. I've been loving this relationship. Why is it ending? But then, you know, what you don't know is that this rock is getting replaced by a crystal, right? or it's getting replaced by, I don't know, whatever you want, like amazing chocolate cake, you know, whatever it is that you like, guys, really enjoy and adore, you're getting something better. If something is ending, if a relationship is ending, or whatever else is ending in your life, new, better circumstances, new, better people that are in alignment with you are coming into your life as a result of that end. So it's like it's getting replaced by something better, right? You don't have to worry 
and feel like there is a lack here, like you're losing something because actually you're gaining so much more, right? So that's just spirit coming and being like, hey, don't worry, we got it. You, you got you. <laughs> Your higher selves got you. It's a journey that you're on, so, so try to look at life as a journey, you know, not as things to obtain, but as a road, as a journey to be on, to adventure on, and just enjoy your life. That's, that's the goal here. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. All right, let's see what else, All right? So what else wants to show up around this person, around their connection, anything else really that wants to show up here. We have the four of coins. So things are quite nicely tucked in. This is this is like a metaphor for those of you who have uh, a relationship ending, but also those of you who are struggling with your person. Your person is keeping like a lot of things to themselves, very private. Um, they don't want to re reveal things. They don't want people to see their insecurities or people even to see like deeper into them. They feel like they're quite shy, but even like shyness does not cover it, like very, very private, potentially secretive. They don't share a lot or don't have a lot of interest in sharing a lot of like their own personal journey or their own feelings with you right now. So we have the five of coins here as well. Yeah, like there's a feeling of loss, of lack. Um, this person misses you. I'm hearing I really messed up. Like I'm really recognizing how how much I messed up right now. Um, and there is no way of changing it is what I'm hearing here as well. Like what's been done has been done. It's like this hardcore realization, especially like with the wailing tree here. It's like this person has had this hardcore realization. It's part of their contract with you here as well. Part of their contract which like you have to face your consequences, the consequences of your actions, the consequences that you've made in your life that, you know, are a part of your life journey. And it's hardcore sometimes. I'm definitely getting, you know, so that you guys really just had a very important connection here and you guys, you know, you learned potentially like self-worth out of it or how to love yourself or how to trust yourself or how to just stand up for yourself, empowerment, boundaries, you know, worth. That's what you guys learned out of it. I feel like your person here is still in the midst of, holy crap, I fucked up. And that's their teaching. Their teaching is how to be better next time how to not fuck up, how to have better self-awareness next time, how to treat other people with respect potentially next time. Yeah, your person's really going through it hard, you guys. So the eight of swords here, yeah. A feeling of being closed in, um, I'm hearing nowhere to go. Now I'm, what I'm hearing in my mind is my chemical romance and it's just such a trip. Um, so my chemical romance is showing off like, like just, like a mix of different types of songs, but that type of vibe, you know, the emo vibe, that's what's showing up here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what else? They're, they're, they're upset with themselves. We have the seven of staffs trying to settle themselves as well. So a person is upset with themselves. They're trying to settle themselves. What I'm hearing is also I'm going to win you back. Oh gosh. Um, so the amethyst on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's like, I'm going to win you back. We have the son of swords reversed. So what I can tell you guys is that your person is currently like in the midst of their own sacred contract teachings. This is a teaching that you don't need to be a part of anymore. If you want to be a part of, if you are drawn back into this to play a certain role in your person's life, you will be. But, you know, it, if you feel drawn back, you are meant to be there. There may be potentially some other lessons or some things that you just need to repeat um, to just really powerfully learn uh, what you need to learn through this connection or from this connection. But yeah, with the amethyst, with the seven of staffs energy, your person is very, very much like, I'm going to stand my ground. I am going to um, keep pushing. I, I want you back. Like literally, I'm going to win you back. I want you back is the energy here. 
it's like your person is pushing against their teaching like they're not they're not ready to fully understand their teaching with the contract and they're like pushing and pushing and pushing against it and just what i'm getting is they're making it hard for themselves through that but at the same time they're not ready to understand like they're not ready to fully comprehend the consequences of their actions here it's like karma like you know it's, it's like karmic for your person here right now just because consequence affect consequences of their actions here and yeah they're like they're, they continue like wanting 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 um they want you back like yeah they do they're standing their ground here they're going to want to reunite with you and that is again that's part of your own teaching here as well with the covenant you guys um that you need to stand your ground if you if you decide that you know so it's all about your own choice here as well nothing is like fully like 100 percent predetermined you have possibilities you have opportunities you choose and then align with where that's leading you here in this relationship and it's not like you can choose wrong that's what spirit also wants to share with you here around this connection around this person you don't choose wrong right so if you choose to get back together with them potentially right um that is not a wrong choice because that just means that you have lessons to learn there or you have opportunities experiences to share with this person that are going to you know teach you more about yourself or or like just going to give you something like joy playfulness in this relationship and this connection enjoyment whatever it is you know it's it's going to be something that's given to you out of this so there's no wrong choice um so don't you know put pressure on yourself in case some of you are putting like pressure on yourself i need to make a right choice there is no such thing as right choice um it's just like the the choices and the consequences that you have to face in regards to those choices um but it is always a lesson there's always a teaching you know in all of it um and you can always choose differently you know with limitless possibilities you can always choose differently and reorient yourself and be like okay that's what, that was not a good choice that's what you learned and then you can move forward and pick a different one so you know it's not like things are going to keep you stuck in case any of you are feeling that right so your person is you know closed off feels a sense of lack loneliness misses you definitely feels closed in with themselves within their own mind here as well with the eight of swords with the eight of swords you know overall there's an, a feeling of feeling trapped to it in themselves helplessness um they might be losing hope um they they definitely i feel like with the eight of swords showing up above the covenant they're recognizing that's their own part of the sacred contract that they were or are caught up in a recurring pattern and stuck in a self-created mental prison of their own making is what I'm hearing here as well. So I just wanted to add that. So they're realizing this and they're like, holy crap, you know, what do I do? How do I get out of it? I don't know. So yeah, that's that's again your personal side of the contract. With the seven of staffs, they they definitely feel like they want to protect their energy. They want to have victory over their lower self, so to speak. That's why they want you back. At the same time, your person doesn't have trust in this right now or trust in themselves right now as well. So that's what's showing up here, you guys. So let's move forward. Where do I have the cards? Um, okay, here. So I just took the chakra cards out of the deck and put them next to me. I didn't notice or didn't remember. So let's see. Let's see what else. What do they want to say to you, group number one? okay so we have impasse showing up going back in um we have per perception okay i just almost read this as perfection what i'm hearing is you are perfection itself again i want you back so it's like you know a repeating record um perception trying to yeah just see things differently but the energy here is i'm going back inside the energy here is just like your person like opening the door here and being like okay i've seen enough i'm going back inside 
right? So that's, again, that's their energy of I'm not ready to move forward. I'm not ready to see like my faults. I'm not ready to fully see how I am creating this prison for myself. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. All of them have also like closed eyes in all of these cards. This one even has a blindfold on. So with perception uh, here, it's like your person doors to their problematic actions have been opened and they they saw like glimpses of it at least but they're like I'm going back in like holy crap I'm not ready to see all this I'm going back inside that's their energy so let's see what else we have isolation yeah oh gosh wow so isolation they're in deep isolation or they're just isolating themselves right now we have abundance yeah wow this is interesting just with the card you know the card does not show actual abundance but it's it shows people striving for abundance or people in lack like trying to trying to connect with abundance we have rejection here as well so yeah you could have rejected your person or your person could just feel incredibly rejected right now by you or by your love by this connection um, and yeah, abundance energy is, is like that feeling of, oh, I could have had this amazing opportunity, you know, what did I do? For some of your person could be just getting into alcohol a little bit, you know, just to be able to soothe themselves. And at the same time, they're like, I'm going to continue wanting, going to continue pushing, going to continue moving towards my wealth or more here um you do have rejection so that's i i definitely feel like that's like you ending things or things ending here in some way like there or at least be there being shifts in this connection in some some ways so whatever is going on there's shifts right now going on here in your relationship we have confusion on the bottom of the deck so yeah, a person is confused um shrouded clouded it's cloudy where they are. So, you know, there's no sun there right now. Yep, definitely. Powerful. Okay, you guys, so we're going to, um, we're going to draw a card for you, just a card of guidance. Um, so let's see what wants to show up for you. So we're going to be using, what is it called? The Mystical Healing Reading Cards. I'm just going to get one card for you. So group number one, what's their guidance right now? Okay, so you have developed stronger concentration. Ooh, we actually didn't get all the cards. We're just going to shuffle again, just noticed. So that's just, you know, a card I feel like you guys needed to share, needed to share, needed to um, hear. Uh, I didn't get all the cards and so let's just, let's just shuffle again. So let's see what wants to show up. All right, so actually, listen to your guardian angel here is showing up for you guys as your message. Um, so aligning deeper with your guardian angel or with your guidance and your support right now, you're being guided in a new direction is the card here. So this is um, a card of tapping into the fact that you're never alone and your guardian angel is always there for you protecting you from harm and guiding you by creating images within your soul. So your quote unquote angel, this can be any kind of energy, also spirit guide, also your person's higher self or your higher self, whoever you, you know, designate as your guardian, let's say, or your, um, yeah, your protector, your companion, energetic companion, all right? So anyway, your angel or your guardian knows the best path for you to follow and is trying to guide you in a new direction right now in regards to this person, in regards to this connection. This path may be different to what you envisage, but if you are willing to trust, you will be guided um, and gifted access to a diverse world of possibilities, which will lead you um, towards the most beneficial experience for you and other people, for you and your person here, right? So your guardian, the quote unquote angel, whoever that is, is trying to help you to become more kind to yourself and others through this as well. It asks you to spend more time in meditation and prayer, focusing on understanding more about your higher nature and your higher self, in particular, what is eternal and truly meaningful for you and the world 
um, as opposed to what is transient here in this lifetime. Okay, so this is your guidance. Very high, amazing guidance for you guys. So thank you for tuning in. This is where I'm going to finish this off for today's reading. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it gives you some more clarity around your situation with your person, with what's going on with you and them. Um, so yeah, thank you for tuning in. All my love and blessings to all of you. If any of you want to book a personal tarot reading, the Etsy shop is open and available. The link is down below. For those of you interested in 18 plus content and 18 plus messages, check out Patreon, which is also linked down below. Love you guys. Blessings to you all. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you for your likes and thank you for subscribing to this channel, continuing to grow our beautiful community. I'll see you all very, very soon in the next video. Dion, have a beautiful day. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number two. Welcome. Whoa. You have picked, oh my gosh, you have picked the perfect storm, the courage to step into life as your card. Very amazing. So let's see what else wants to show up for you. What are the messages for your person? What's going on here? So we're just tapping into higher selves. We're tapping into your person's energy. Anything that wants to show up is welcome to show up for this reading today. So let's see what's going on here in this connection. What's going on in your person's life right now for group number two, please. Okay, we have heart, home, compassion. I'm hearing the courage to be better. I want to be better. Um, we have repairing the veil of forgiveness. Gorgeous. Yeah. So whatever happened between the two of you, your person wants to bring in compassion to this relationship. They want to be better. So it's like this, this internal desire to be better, to be a better person, to be a better man, to be a better woman, to make better choices, better decisions, to appreciate things more. We have watchers transpersonal here and we have gestation period as well with winter's dream. So you guys are probably in separation um, or this is a separation that's beginning, right? So either you have been in separation or you are beginning your separation period right now. You're both invited to step forward, to forgive each other, to have compassion or just hold compassion for each other. Um, we have stranger curiosity here on the bottom of the deck as well. To be curious about your life journey and your journey together potentially in the future as well. To just be curious about where life is taking you, what journey you are on here, what the perfect storm. It feels like things are unfolding for you guys. There is still like love in this connection. Um, regardless of what went on, what happened between the two of you, there's a lot of love present still in your relationship, in your connection here. There's a lot of forgiveness that's playing out here. Forgiveness of the self and of the other is what I'm hearing here specifically. There is transformation unfolding with that butterfly energy. With the watchers here, transpersonal, this relationship or whatever is going on here with the two of you right now, this is an energy that's not just shifting, changing in the physical world. It's also something that has strong energetic implications for other beings as well. What I'm hearing is you are creating ripples of change, not just for yourself, but for other people as well. Um, so whatever choices you're making, you are through these choices implicating and affecting a lot of different people by the energy and the vibration that you're holding within yourself and the vibration and the energy that you choose to hold as your core um, vibration, as your core mood, as your core emotion, right? So that's how you are literally like able to, able to play with that or work with that. 
So with the Watchers, there is a transpersonal element to this relationship. So there's also like an energy of you guys being what I'm hearing is kindred souls. Um, there's potential higher self alignment here as well. So, so um, twin flame energies. So yeah, perfect storm. There might have been an upheaval or a tower moment that happened here for the two of you recently as well. It feels like um, feels like truths being revealed, right? So with compassion and forgiveness, truths being revealed, things coming up to the surface to be seen. Um, I'm hearing a reckoning was upon us. Um, so, so it's like with the perfect storms, like the storm came in, blew up some towers, and now we are seeing the truth of the matter. Um, it's, it's like an apocalypsis archetype from the wild unknown oracle. Um, so it's like, you know, the apocalypsis happens so that everything falls apart and you see the truth behind it all. And then you're able to rebuild from that. So I feel like that's why the gestation period is here as well, so that you rest, rebuild, recuperate right now. After this storm has passed, you guys still have a lot of compassion for each other. There's a lot of forgiveness here. But yeah, there, there's definitely like a, an energy of rest, recuperation, not meeting right now as well with gestation period. There's an energy of we're not seeing each other right now or we're not connecting so strongly right now. But we are remaining curious about what shows up on our path with the stranger. So that's like the higher self message for you and this person. Um, in terms of what's going on with them, I feel like they are quite wintry right now. So they could be closed off. What I'm hearing is aloof as well. Um, they could be like what I'm hearing is as well licking their wounds here with perfect storm. So let's see what else. We have the three of staffs reversed. So there's a feeling of not being able to move forward or not being able to reunite or see each other the way that you usually would have. Um, so there, there feels like there could be some obstacles here right now. We have the eight of coins here as well. So there's what I'm hearing is, yeah, a lack of mastery, lack of dedication right now from your person's energy. We have the pyre reverse, so lack of commitment. Or lack, yeah, lack of commitment that's also present here. Lots of reversals. Let's see what else. What's going on with your person? What are their messages? We have Murshida. So cool. That's all about tapping into the self. That's why the gin, ginter, <laughs> winter gestation period is here. And what else? Okay, so we have another card here. We have the two of staff. So yeah, there's a beginning. What I'm hearing is initiation. So a person definitely feels like an initiation is happening or there's a feeling of wanting to do things like differently, take a different move or, or a path forward. Choose differently is what I'm hearing here as well. With the Seven of Swords, there's still a lot of deception going on. So they're definitely like holding a lot of things still closed within themselves. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like deception here, like things still not being clear, not being truthful. So whatever your person is sharing with you, they're not being 100% truthful here. They could be saying white lies or could be just um, not sharing all information with you guys, right? So with the three of staffs reversed, your person's energy is still like, they're still like clinging to the past. They're, they're unable to let this storm or let this tower fully fall. Um, with the three of staffs, there is this clinging to the past um, lack of self-confidence, right? Lack of progress and perceived failure um, that they're seeing and disconnection maybe with themselves as well. They're seeing themselves as someone who has uh, like failed potentially. And then with the eight of coins, we have like your person seeing themselves or just, yeah, just feeling overall as mediocre, like, so also like lack of mastery, lack of discipline, lack of dedication, lack of ambition, feeling that lack of stuff in your situation, in your connection right now, they could be quite unmotivated to move things along. Or 
also like unmotivated to approach things in a compassionate way right now because they are afraid to feel deeply, right? So there is this energy of slacking off here with the Eight of Coins showing up. And with the Pyre reversed, with the Hierophant reversed, um, there's this energy here of still what I'm getting is this is connected to this and the storm. It's like your person holding on to old systems that no longer serve or old patterns that no longer serve them. So they're not, what I'm hearing is they're not flowing with the times, with what they're drawn to or what they're called to right now with the pile reversed. Um, there, there's this energy again of lack of dedication, lack of mastery, you know. The Hierophant is overall the energy of uh, wisdom as well, like this more masculine approach to wisdom. Um, like also holding wisdom for other generations, you know, like, like this elder energy in your person being reversed here is like they're not taking on that role of learning of being compassionate with themselves and allowing themselves to work things out so they can be a um, role model for other people like they're choosing the easy way the procrastinatory way you know they're kind of just in their own world here kind of closed off and holding on to the remains of the building that spirit let's say wants to tear down wants to shift wants to change they're aware of this. So with all of this showing up here, I feel like your person is aware of this, but they're still, I feel like not fully changing. So they're not changing, but they are aware of this. Um, they're also aware with the Morshida that they need to make better choices, um, that they need to make a change to this because they are unhappy with these three cards, right? Even if they are still holding on to this, it's, it's an awareness that they're unhappy with this energy. With the two of staffs, there is this feeling of wanting to do better, wanting to be better, wanting to do things in a different way, which is also resonating with the Murshida energy here, with the High Priestess energy here. So now with the High Priestess, there are two sides to this. One side is that your person is quite private, secretive, um, like holds a lot of things within themselves that they're not sharing that could be important to your understanding of your relationship. Um... They, they feel like there are things yet to be revealed. Yeah, they're afraid, a little, little bit afraid of things being revealed, but at the same time, they're kind of welcoming it. They want things to be revealed so that they can also feel clear and a sense of calm, which they don't currently feel. Um, they're trying to pay attention to their own inner voice right now, and they're trying to take care of their own needs with the High Priestess here. They're trying to like align with harmony as well. Um, and they're trying to create compassionate relations with others, like trying to open themselves up. This person is trying is what I'm hearing here. They're trying but they're still very like attached to this old way of doing, being, clinging to the past here, um, returning back to their home, you know, the way that they always have done things. With the three of staffs reversed, with the eight of coins, it's like there is lack of mastery, lack of I need to work on things, you know, lack of work on the self. But there's like this creative tension still in your person. There's still like a creative tension because the tower has been blown up, right? Even if they're holding on to it still, the tower has been blown up here. So they are feeling that creative tension, like I need to do something, I need to shift, I need to move some stuff around in my life to make changes. And they're still feeling that. Um, they have a certain hopeful waiting for you so they're like hopefully waiting for you still here um there, there's an energy of planning wanting to make wise decisions with Morshida here as well wanting to make better wise decisions and also feeling like their new beginnings coming into being wanting to feel empowered about whatever is coming next or whatever is happening next your person sees a lot of possibilities for the future, but they're still like fully like clothed in here. Um, it, it's giving like this idea of I need to shield myself, I need to protect myself, um, or I cannot fully reveal my face 
or myself, right? So there's this energy of shielding oneself. And an energy of like initiation, like spirit is calling this person towards something which they're not fully taking, not fully wanting to see, not fully aware of. Um, but they're still on a journey here. Even if they're not like mentally, consciously aware of things, they're still on a journey um, with you guys here on this relationship. So we're going to see what else wants to show up for them or from them uh, with the chakra cards. So we have the seven of swords here, which of course, as I said, you know, is your person being like not, like not honest, right? So they want harmony, but they're not fully honest. They don't know how to be. I don't know how to say some of these things to you. Yeah, they don't know how to share. They don't know how to reveal things like they want to, but they don't know how. I, I'm hearing I never learned how. Um... I'm also hearing I've always done things like in this way, like this, in this way. Um, I'm bad at having difficult conversations is what I'm hearing here with the Seven of Swords as well. So it's not like they, you know, don't want to reveal things to you. It's like they don't know how to speak about these things. So they just kind of brush it under the carpet and they're like yeah it's it's not going to be seen if it's not seen right now it's never going to be seen and then you're like i want to clean the house and then you take that rug and you know open it up and you're like holy crap there's so much dirt here you know and your person's like holy crap they are seeing things um and also like the light the illumination you know they're like literally running away from the light, they're running away from revelation, from illumination. The sun is that carrier of that energy. We have Sitara reversed here, which is all about like not working on the self, not being ready to see the self. You know, the, the star does come after the tower energy, but you know, with it being reversed, there's still like this energy of disappointment that your person is feeling. Um, they might be feeling burnt out or just quite disconnected from one's higher self. They could be also like doubting, not sure what the next step is. With these two energies, there is like this feeling of doubt, of needing to tap into the self to know what is best, how to move forward, what to do next. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what else. Ooh, okay, so we have a perfection. Okay, so I'm hearing Adele. Adele has been showing up a lot. Uh, we could have had it all. I can't sing, you guys, but you know, you know the song, Adele screaming, we could have had it all. And it's quite difficult. We have recovery. So yeah, your person feels like they can recover, like they can be better. For some of you, they want you to take them back after they've recovered where they want to like reunite, reconcile with you after they've recovered, whatever this recovery is, we have the impasse energy. So yeah, they're at an impasse right now with themselves and potentially with you guys as well. They don't know what to do about you. Like they're, they're quite confused, concerned, like, what do I do? Where do I go next? Oh my gosh, what's, what's the next path forward? They're quite unsure. We also have expansion here. So your person is open to expanding. So we do have positive cards. So we also have a gossip. So they're talking to other people about this connection. This person could also be tapping into, you know, just other people's opinions of you, how other people see you with the seven of swords here. You know, they could be just talking to other people about how you're doing, like tapping into uh, what other people have seen of you and how you are and what's going on with you. And if, if they can't, you know, approach you directly. We have soulmate energy here on the bottom of the deck. So there's a soulmate bond here between the two of you. I feel like, I feel like just, just like your person doesn't, doesn't have like the openness to fully welcome this bond and to work on themselves because that, because of that energy of slacking off you know, lack of work on the self or not wanting to release things, holding on to the old patterns, clinging to the past, yes. 
because of that, you know, it feels like this connection is a little bit difficult. Your person is still interested in you. So they're also like in this energy of what do I do? How, how do I, where do I go? You know, <laughs> with this picture here, it's like, what do I do? You know, I, I like them. I like group number two. I like this connection. And they're like, oh, but also like, I like the old self. I love this old like self, but I need to choose like, what the heck do I do? The full moon in Libra has had a huge effect on you guys as well in your relationship and this connection. So just wanted to mention that. Um, so things coming to light here as a result of this eclipse full moon energy. It's been super powerful. So what I'm hearing is also things are never going to be the same for the two of you. Um, but yeah, your person is interested in expanding and recovery. We have curiosity here with the stranger. So they're curious about how to grow. We have perfection here as well. So they, they have they have a desire, a goal to work towards. You know, it's not like they're confused and they're they're unaware. Like group number one, you know, this person is like very much like, I'm not sure what I want. I'm just going to not do shit. You know, this person is a lot more open and ready to their own transformation, ready to their own journey, ready to expand, get new ideas, change, be a better person overall. They're interested in working on themselves. So what I want to say, especially with compassion, with forgiveness, they're wanting to work on themselves, but they also feel like with gestation period, they just need time out right now. <laughs> like literally, what I just what I just saw when I connected to that is is like, you know, when um, people used to give like children time out as like a learning method, your person feels like they need to have time out and just go stare at a wall, you know, that's their energy here. I feel like they're putting this onto themselves because spirit overall, they don't want to, um, and spirit guides ourselves, you know, they don't want to teach in that way, but the, this person's like, okay, I need to like, I need to punish myself is what's showing up for some of you as well. So I, I need to go stare at a wall, you know, I need to just, I need to also like clear my mind. That's also a way to understand this energy. Um, yeah, I need to be by myself. I need to clear my mind. I need to know what the heck is going on. Cool. So we have soulmate. What else? We have impatience. Yeah, your person wants to connect to you. There, There is a feeling of impatience here, wanting to see you again. But but also, there is a need for patience in this connection. So you guys, let's get you guys some guidance. Um, so we're just going to get a card from the Mystical Healing. So we're going to get you one card in regards to this person, in regards to this connection. So what do you need to be aware of, group number two? We have, okay, so we have two cards. We have Practice Positivity. And recognize divine timing. So divine timing is at work in your love life right now. Here with the card. The card. Um, so 23, practice positivity. So you're invited literally to practice positivity. Um, the message or the guidance here is to stop judging and start looking for the good. So what is good in your relationship? What is good in you? What is good in your person? That is your guidance right now. It's time to focus on everything in your life that is positive right now as well. Positivity adjusts your point of view and allows you to see every situation through the lens of optimism, right? So part of the challenge of this card um, presents um, is to encourage you to cease any judgment or harsh behaviors with others and particularly with yourself. So you're being asked to become vigilant, not only with what you say, but also with every thought you're thinking. So each positive thought has the power to heal and uplift, whilst each negative thought can harm and drown you. So you will find that as you practice positivity, you will attract more positive thoughts, people and opportunities in your life. That's your shifting. That's the aftermath of the perfect storm there. Um, you will also start to enjoy your life more and open up the possibilities of activating your intuitive abilities and awakening your spiritual gifts. So over time, no matter the challenge, you will be able to experience life with 
an open heart and equanimity as well. So that's your guidance right now, you guys. Very powerful. Sounds super easy, but it is one of the, you know, harder things to do regularly on a regular basis. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. This is where we're finishing this off for this particular reading. Hope this gives you some more clarity and guidance around your person, around your connection and on your path with this person as well. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate I love you guys so, so very much. Love your energy and love spending time with you. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for, you know, just being a part of this journey. If any of you want to get a tarot reading, personal tarot reading with me, check out Etsy. The link is down below. And um, yeah, anything else for 18 plus readings, check out Patreon, which is also linked down below. Thank you guys for all your beautiful comments, for liking this video, and thank you for subscribing, for being part of our journeys together. I'll see you all in the next video very soon, potentially. And yeah, have a beautiful day. See you soon. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number three. Welcome. You have picked the dream thief today. So we have refusal of the call here. Kidok. So we're going to get a couple more cards to begin with. Overall, this energy is um, the energy of the comfort zone and relying on the comfort zone. So let's see what else let's see what else wants to show for your person for group number three please what's going on with them okay so we have fortunes wheel luck and right timing mm -hmm. okay, look, so i'm seeing what's going on all right so <laughs> amazing i'm going to keep it a secret crown games right use of power incredible this is making me think of what's going on currently with the UK's royalty. You know, like hmm, some, some type of suspiciousness over there. Suspicious stuff going on. In the hand, the universe is your partner. Okay. Skybridge, possibility for union, yes. Okay, you guys, um, so there's going to be higher self messages showing up for this reading. There's going to be just information about your person being shared throughout this reading as well. This reading is supposed to align you to give you information about how you can improve your life as well. So with the dream thief, um, with refusal of the call, I feel like you're both kind of in this energy, you and your person, you're both in the energy of the old. Um, so you're both in the energy of the comfort zone and the stories you tell yourself of why things are the way that they are without recognizing that a new story is already unfolding for you. So with the fortune's wheel, this is ending. And this is something I feel like you're, you're still kind of holding on to at least a little bit. If you are drawn to this reading, you're, you're holding on to the comfort zone, not moving forward, not shifting your energy with the dream thief. With the fortune's wheel energy, this new beginning is already happening for you. So it's just about choosing to let go of the old story, what you've been telling yourself about yourself, about your life, about how you're living your life, about how you need to live your life, right? So I'm going to just read from the booklet here. I'm going to read about the dream thief because you guys need to hear it. This is like from your higher self. Um, and also this is the lesson or just the energy from your person here. So the dream thief comes with um, the energies of rejection of the path of fulfillment and refusal of the call. Okay, so it says the dream thief is a soft and compelling seductress. Her only purpose is to keep you hypnotized by comfort and sameness. She wants you to tell your old stories over and over so you don't evolve beyond them, right? So that's that energy. And that's something that you're holding in yourself at least a little bit, right? And your person is also holding this inside of themselves right now. So ask yourself whether you are reverting back to the familiar of your origin story of why you were wounded or why you were rejected. Do you talk about how your family molded you as a child without also acknowledging that 
you've already become someone else. That is a big one and that's the realization you guys need to hear. So teaching from an old wound will never allow you a new adventure. Instead, bring to mind how you've already changed, remembering that you have new stories to rely and build upon. That's you getting into the fortune's wheel here, luck and right timing energy. Do you want to move beyond the barrier of glass you've placed between you and the horizon? You can, and it's not difficult, right? So that feeling of, oh, it's going to be too hard. That's just the old story here something you were thinking before and it's not present for you anymore. So answer the call to a new adventure and drop your resistance to sailing the uncharted seas of your potential. The wind will soothe and sing the dream teeth to sleep so you can wake up and move forward. You are so much more than you know. It's time to express what has lain dormant within you. Your new adventure has already begun. Your new adventure has already begun here that's going for both of you. You are mirroring each other here. As you guys, as you work through this energy, release this, you release or allow your person to also bring themselves to a place where they can release it and work on it as well. With the sky bridge, there's a possibility for union between the two of you. So the way that I'm seeing this connection is it's a kindred soul connection. You're here to mirror each other. You're here to like magnetize each other's stuff to such an extent that you create shifts within your own lives, right? And as you create shifts in your life, you invite through the ripple effect of energy, your person to make changes to their own life as well, okay? To take down the crown, to take down their ego. This is a profoundly ego energy, even though the card isn't necessarily about that. It's the energy of like the ego that's showing up here, especially with all the sun qualities as well. The sun represents the ego. So a person could be, you know, prideful. You could be prideful as well. You know, you could be very much prideful and like holding on to the old because of pride um, or because of something else, whatever it is, there's some energy of holding on to things. And as you evolve, as you're like more humble, with your life and your experiences and how you want to proceed, if you're more humble with yourself, literally with yourself, that's creating shifts in you. It's inviting you to a new adventure, a new path, new opportunities, new situations, new things coming up here. Um, what I'm hearing is also being able to ask for support is showing up. So that feeling of allowing support in your life, asking people for support is showing up for you guys here as well and also with the in the hand energy. That is all connecting you to union with your person. It's connecting you to your own evolution, your own alignment with the higher self, with your desires, because the higher self literally is vibrating in the same energy state as your desires. So it's aligning you with your desires, maybe not the desires that you're 100% conscious of, but the desire that you definitely want to have as an experience in this lifetime. That is all like shifting, changing all the time. So it's not like final energy. Once you reach a desire, a new desire is formed, etc. Yet um, overall, you know, which possibilities for union you are shifting towards this. And by you moving, by you making like these little shifts in your own little column, your person is also being invited to shift. And it's easier for them to shift if you shift. Right. So we have bold step forward the farther gate here underneath that. Yeah, you are like invited to just become aware of how you are still holding on to like the old story, the old story of this is how my parents made me or this is this is how I'm reacting because of this and this and this wound, you know, like get out of it. You are already the different person. You already are, you know, someone who's learned some things and just go from there. You know, you don't need to go back also, the energy here is like you don't need to heal so much. You don't need to go back and like heal and heal and heal and do this type of thing or this type of activity. Just allow yourself to go towards what you enjoy doing. It's all about allowing yourself to go towards the things that you want to do. It's about allowing yourself. That's it. Okay, allow yourself to feel grounded and safe enough in your own body to do the things that you effing want to do. So you are, you and your person, you're both on like separate journeys, but at the same time, it's the same journey as well. Um, so it's like this, like, let's say duality 
or like different dimensions playing out on one level your your oneness you're you're all you're like energetically impacting each other on this physical world you're both you know in your own your own quote-unquote journey where you're still impacting each other but less so where you need to really like powerfully own your own stuff and make choices in your own life that invite you towards your own empowerment which is the right use of power um so stepping down from pride stepping down from your heart high horse some of you need to hear this message and it might be a trigger for some of you but you know it's time to be humble to be empowered yet at the same time humble to have strong boundaries but at the same time be kind compassionate loving and open right what else do we have here in the hand the universe is your partner yes the universe has your back throughout all of this so it's just about allowing yourself to receive. It's it's just about recognizing that all this time you've kind of been refusing to receive. You've been holding things off or you've been like blocking yourself from receiving whatever it is that you want to receive, whether it's love, whether it's creativity, whether it's abundance, whatever it is, whether it's a partner, whether it's connection, um, you know, you've been blocking yourself from this. The, these are like hardcore messages you guys so i'm sorry if it's triggering in any way um but you're drawn to this reading you know you are here for a reason it's it's good that you hear this so that you evolve so that you move past stuff or that you just recognize that you're already the person that you've been wanting to be you know it's just about letting go of the stories that you have in your mind the narrative of the past so let's see the dream thief energy anything else here okay so your person is ready to move forward with you with the eight of staffs they're also feeling the energy between the two of you in a very intense way wow things are quite loud here your person wants to celebrate this connection they feel like you're a kindred soul they feel like they have a purpose with you i just saw 11 11 on my camera gorgeous so they see that they have a purpose with you they have something to do with you in this physical world they have something to create with you this does not necessarily have to be a physical thing it can just be an energy it can just be a vibration it can be a, vib a vibration of joy of love of fulfillment of peace of enlightenment for some of you even you know it's about that energy of cultivating, celebrating the relationship. Yeah. So you're, most of you are listening to this um, after the full moon in Libra um, and the eclipse. So that has created shifts in you already. So some things are really like letting themselves fall off you energetically which like all this moon energy here and also feels like the dream thief is on the moon here as well. Um, this feels like a moon almost, um, even though it also feels like a sun as well. So overall, you guys have, have been shifted. Even if you're not fully aware of this, this full moon in Libra, this eclipse, it has shifted you, it has transformed you, it, it like made some things change in you. You have let go of certain things whether it's in your dream state as well some things were let go of some truths are or are going to come into light because it's like the energy of a new journey um the three of swords reversed is showing up here as well so letting go of pain is here let go of pain let go of grief It's, it's no, no longer necessary to do all the hard work and all the healing. It's, it's, you know, important to just allow yourself to go forward in your life and allow yourself to enjoy. What I'm hearing is also you're not broken. The two of coins, it's time to find a balance in life as well. So the two of coins calling towards a balance. Your person is also aligning with balance, a balanced give and take. We have the six of pentacles here on the bottom so yeah your person definitely wants to align more with a more gentle a more beautiful give and take relationship between the two of you with the three of swords they are currently releasing 
pain, healing after trauma, and there's an end of a long, difficult period here overall. You both are overcoming and there's this energy of forgiveness here as well, right? So things might have been difficult, very difficult for the two of you in the past. There might have been a lot of pain, a lot of shifts, a lot of upheavals that is ending, right? A new beginning is being called in very powerfully, very quickly with the Eight of Staffs. There's a recognition here of your journey together, what you both get to co-create and do together. Um, and there's an energy of releasing pain and finding balance in this new area of your life. A beautiful energetic exchange on the horizon, giving, receiving in, a, in an abundant way in a way of it's going to come back to me even if i give it's going to come back to me whatever i give comes back to me tenfold type of energy here you know it's like the energy of generosity support being valued having balanced accounts between the two of you as well so you're both kind of clearing clearing out your relationship like if there has been any karma here between the two of you that's just for some of you here listening what i need to share it so if there's been karma here you're balancing that out you're clearing your accounts, so to speak, you're balancing your accounts with each other. There is good fortune happening here. Good fortune is on the horizon for the two of you um, and open heartedness. So your person is feeling more open hearted. I'm hearing more and more open hearted towards you um, with all this showing up. They might be juggling a lot with the two of coins, right? So there could be a lot of things that are on their plate right now. They could be dealing with a lot in their personal lives as well. There could be just a lot of stuff going on for them. So just be, you know, mindful of that as you're connecting with your person or as you're seeing them. They could have a lot on their plate right now, which, which could lead to them feeling potentially overwhelmed, overstimulated um, in, your, in your surroundings or in your situations. So they definitely feel a need to be flexible right now and adaptable. But also, I feel like, yeah, there's some un unexpected events here that have the potential to happen for you guys as well. Um, so be mindful of that. You don't need to make things happen. You don't need to control to make things happen, is what Spirit wants to tell you as well. With the Two of Coins, if there's unexpected events happening for you, which luck and right timing, just allow yourself to be where you're drawn to. Allow yourself to go and do whatever the heck you want to do because that is what's going to bring you luck and right timing, not controlling, not through controlling. You're not going to get it through that. You know, just allow yourself to vibe with life and that's going to bring things about. Allow yourself to go where you want to go. Allow yourself to have what you want to have. Okay. So let's see what else. Oh, we have abundance. Allow yourself to have the abundance that you always wanted. I feel like you're both striving towards that. You're, you and your person, you're both striving towards abundance in this connection. What I'm also hearing right now is that you were not able to have it up until this point because you were so attached to the old self, to the old story that you've told yourself about yourself, about your life, about your family, about, again, how you grew up, about how you lived about your previous relationships not working out or, you know, just whatever it was. Let's see. We have soulmate showing up, going back in, all right? So we also have creation. Beautiful. So you are creating a new beginning. You, you're you both shamans, by the way. Like, you guys don't fully realize this, but you're shamans in the sense of you are the creators of your reality. You have the power to shift to choose your paths you know even though some things are set there is an energy or just an availability here a potential availability to shift things to move things um to connect to nature there is an energy of creation here let's create a new story let's create a new dream right right we have enlightenment here as well amazing I mentioned enlightenment here for you guys before as well. Gorgeous. So we have also miracle. Yes, you guys, you are on an incredible journey here. Um, there's a lot of solar plexus energy here. So a lot of empowerment showing up, a lot of just good stuff, lux, miracles, enlightenment, awareness showing up here. We have recovery on the bottom of the deck here. And we have perception 
here as well. So you are through a change perception aligning with recovery, which is, I feel like, already part of this reading anyway. Um, so which enlightenment and what the miracle, that's an incredible, incredible vibe and incredible energy to be in. Um, with miracle, like the message that you guys need to know is that integrity is what's turning on the light within. So you being in your integrity is going to shift things and bring things about. Um, again, you can be the one showing the path forward by living this, by being in your integrity. You are again influencing your person to be in their own integrity as well. Because again, remember, you are mirrors of each other. That's why I also called you shamans, because you guys are profound mirrors of each other. You are reflecting each other strongly. So you have the power to reflect what you want to see here. Um, yeah. And be honest and forthright no matter what. With the energy of the sun, a miracle awaits you guys. Um, you will instinctively know what is authentic. So just trust it here. Um, yeah. That's the vibe. That's the energy. It's amazing. So which enlightenment, the opportunity to make an enlightened decision is present here as well. Um, a journey of true destiny is the vibrational energy in this group overall. Um, what else? Regal gold and earthy brown kind of mix in this card to create something sp spectacular. Um, and the message of enlightenment is that your experience will guide others. So for some of you, I'm getting resistance from you. Like, I don't want to be this person. I don't want to be like the quote unquote teacher. I don't want to be the one who guides others. You know, it's, it's who you are. So I feel like that's the dream thief energy in you. Like you don't need to be, you know, the quote unquote spiritual teacher or anything like that. It's just by living your authentic truth. You are already this. So it's just about, you know, the awareness of who you are, of your integrity of living according to this. You are already teaching other people to be this as well. So it's not like you need to go out and have a tour, you know, of speaking tour or anything like that. You don't need to be teal swan to do this stuff, to be the teacher of other people, to guide others, right? You, you just need to be yourself. You just need to do yourself. And it's, this is going to guide your person as well. Right, so with abundance, gold represents the power of your mind to choose here as well. So one choice may be wise, the other foolish, but choosing may, uh, you know, choosing well may involve temporary sacrifice in order to gain your desires. And also like remember that you can always make a new choice. Like even if you choose, let's say, quote unquote wrong, you can always make a new choice. It's not like things are set in stone. It's not like things are not evolving anymore. I feel like that's one of the fears with the dream thief. The dream thief is like, yeah, you know, if you make this choice, then you're doomed for life. It's like, no, you can make a different choice. You can shift things. You can move things along, right? It's part of the journey of your destiny. Cool. So you guys, let's, let's just get you some guidance cards. A guidance card, even though these were already like part of your guidance already. Um, and this is like your, your person's journey as well. So their energy is also impacting you. You can also be mindful of how that is happening, like in your surroundings, maybe just observe yourself from a third person perspective when you're around your person, like how are you mirroring each other? How are you connecting each other? How are you impacting each other? You know, if you're like not in your authentic vibration or in your integrity, how are you impacting each other then when you are in your authentic a vibe and your integrity how are you impacting each other then you know just play with it take a chill like you don't need to get it all right just play with the energy with the creation play with it so let's see guidance Ooh, guidance we have reverse dissociation okay cool interesting wow this one's quite powerful to receive it's also quite deep to receive as well um as guidance so reverse dissociation give yourself permission to feel right you guys give yourself permission to feel your feels <laughs> feel your feelings right now it can be easy to dissociate from your feelings when the challenges of life become too overwhelming 
Um, so this can occur when we hold on to suppressed, unacknowledged, painful or traumatic experience and allow ourselves to be bombarded by everything that's going on in the outside world and also TV, listening to loud music, engaging with social media, etc. So in order to recover your sensitivity and aliveness, you need to slow down, connect to your body and give yourself permission to feel. You have to realize that as a spiritual being, you need to spend as much time nourishing your soul as you do feeling your physical body. Your spirit is beckoning you to go within, let go of past pain and transform it into enriched or enriching wisdom. Powerful, you guys. Powerful, 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 amazing. Okay, so this is your guidance. You are already on a very, very high journey with all these cards showing up for you and your person here. So you are doing well. All that is like potentially like holding you back is the dream thief energy. So like make notes of this, remember this and go live your best life. Go live your miracle, you know? That's the vibe here. That's the energy. So thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. It's such a pleasure always to connect to you and feel your energy. Just feel like all, all of your like beautiful integrity and your souls coming in and being like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Let me grow and let me be better and let me develop and let me just shift towards the best self and the best life. I just want to let you guys know that you can have it all. You don't need to settle for less. You can have it all. You can have like the best money, the best abundance, whatever it is, the pr prosperity, a good relationship, good family life, everything. You can have it all, right? It's just about choosing to not limit yourself, choosing to not live by the old stories anymore. And through that, you're making incredible shifts on life, on our universe, on our planet as well. So it's not just about you. It's also about the planet. It's also about the ripple effect that you're causing on your person, the ripple effect that your person's causing onto everybody else. It's not just about us here, okay? So thank you so much, you guys, for being on this journey with me. I love you all so much. I just got emotional, so I love you all, you all so much. You're amazing. You're doing amazing work on this planet. Thank you so much for tuning in and for being a match to this frequency transmission. This has been a powerful one. So thank you so much for tuning in. You guys really love you. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and for the work that you're doing. Even if you feel like, you know, it's it's not a lot or, you know, if you're like feeling like you could do more, it's, it's good whatever you're doing, you know, just keep following yourself and know that you are doing amazing right now. So thank you for that. Thank you for being, thank you for doing your best. Um, and yeah, <laughs> let me just finish my old speech here. Um, so thank you for tuning in. If you guys want to book a personal tarot reading, the Etsy is below. Um, and for 18 plus readings, check out Patreon. You know, all the links are down below. I love you all so, so very much. Again, thank you so much for your presence on this earth right now. You're doing incredible work. You are very powerful. You're very potent souls to be a match to this reading anyway. So and just about recognizing that you have a lot of creative potential and that you really have a profound influence energetically on other people. Just like owning that, you know, owning how you energetically impact other people through your moods, through your emotions. You have a powerful presence. Your presence is felt as you enter a room profoundly and you have the ability to uplift other people immensely, okay? Thank you for tuning in, you guys. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for your likes, for your subscriptions, everything. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Hope you are well. And yeah, I hope this reading has given you like the guidance or just the understanding that you needed to hear. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Blessings to all of you. Much love and see you soon. Bye. Namaste.